Finally, let's now consider one exercise together. What I want you to think about, well, this is quite a big one, but uh, I will only do a little bit of guidance over here for you. I think it's for you to really fully understand what's going on, you may just want to try to do it, okay? Let's say we want to enumerate all this, uh, you can see we are using that notation already. We want to enumerate all the possible relations between these two sets, the first set AB, and the second set is one, two, three. All right, so I'll let you pause the video right now. If you're feeling confident about going forward to actually do this exercise, you can now pause the video. All right, assuming that you uh, thought about it, or maybe you simply got no clue, that's okay. In case you actually did, uh, did the exercise already, you can definitely just uh, go to the slides and check the answer. Well, it's not the complete answer, at least you can see if you're on, uh, you were on the right track. Well, you can just drop by my office hour, I can check the answer together with you. But now, for those of you who actually didn't have much clue, that's okay. Let me give you a little bit more, more hints and give you some guidance on the paper, and you can continue. So the hints goes like this. If I want to uh, calculate all the possible relations uh, between these two sets, we learned about two special relations, remember? The minimum one and the maximum one. Okay, so now you may, uh, first of all, you may want to new, put, remember this is synonymous to the power set. And how do we enumerate power sets? We will enumerate each member in the power set in terms of their cardinality, right? That's what we did earlier. Remember this exercise that we did over here, right? And numerating re uh, relation is no difference because the, uh, new the set of relation itself is just more like a power set. And that's exactly the problem that we solved before. So we're gonna apply the same strategy to really uh, numerate it, okay? That's the first hint. Right, you want to really enumerate this particular power set, which will be the set of all relations in terms of the cardinality. This will be the smallest uh, relation, which will be empty set, empty relation. This will be the largest uh, relation, which will be the cross products between the two sets. And we just want to know its cardinality. Well, in this case, you can just uh, predict cardinality is gonna be two times three, because the first element can be drawn from the set of uh, two possibility. And the second element can be drawn from the set of three possibility. So that's, that'll be th uh, two times three. So far, so good. That'll be your first hint. And the second hint is, well, what's really the maximum relation in this particular one, right? Well, the maximum relation is simply this guy over here, right? That's also the special relation we spoke about. These are the two hints, and they want to figure out what's really exactly what's in uh, the relation uh, on the halfway. The relation that's kind of larger than the empty relation, but smaller than the maximum relation. That's what you're gonna figure out. All right. Let me now do a little bit of sketch together with you, and then we'll actually, uh, and then I'll let you go go ahead and do it yourself. Okay. Let's now talk about it. Okay. So we want to somehow numerate So we got A B the first set in relation to one, two, three. Let me just double check. I spelled them out correctly. Yes, okay, let's now do it together. So this is the problem that we are trying to solve, right? And there's something I want to say right away. This notation over here is equivalent to A, B, cross products one, two, and three. That's the maximum relation, but we want to get all the possible ones. So that's why there's a power set notation here, right? So you want to know, first of all, this part over here is equivalent to the power set of the cross products, right? That's really important to, first of all, understand. Let, let's see how we can enumerate the, uh, uh, the, uh, the relation, all the possible relation. It's gonna be a giant set over here. So it's going to be a giant set over here, but I'm just going to give you some idea, okay? What will be the smallest relation? Well, since we're gonna figure out all the possible relation, right? What will be the smallest one? Empty relation. So I'm gonna put empty here. So that's a special one. So empty relation over here. And this one here, it's maybe, uh, it would be worth uh, to actually make some notes over here. So the empty relation over here is really 
the relation of cardinality zero. Cardinality zero. All right. And what about the maximum relation? By definition, the maximum relation should be the cross product, right? That's what we are taking the power set of. So this one here is going to be uh, how many? Uh, it's going to be a relation of cardinality six, right? It's going to be. Uh, let me write it down over here. So it's going to be just a relation over here, right? And then it's going to be uh, a one. Let's say let's fix the first element to be a. Okay, a, and second can be one, two, or three. A one, a two, and also a three. Okay, we're halfway, and the second element fix. Uh, sorry, the first element fix that to be b. B one, and also b two, and also b three. Okay, so this is the maximum relation that we have. Okay, so this set over here is a maximum relation maximum so this one here is the maximum relation of cardinality six right that's the cardinality of this particular uh, cross products over here that's a maximum so now we want to figure out all the relations in between all right I will just do one for you, okay? Just do one. Let's now do the uh, next row over here. How about this part, the, the next one? The next one over here, what, what should that row be? That row over here should be, uh, let me use a different color. That part over there should be the relations of cardinality one, okay? And now, how do we choose cardinality one, right? This is the maximum relation. And we want to choose uh, this, there's a maximum, right? And then how can we choose uh, some relation of cardinality one? It could be that we only take this member over here, make it a separate relation. Or we can choose this one over here, make it a separate relation. Or we can choose this one over here and make a separate relation and etc. okay? So it's going to be, uh, let me write it down completely, okay? It's going to be either relation over here Oh, how many of them? So it should be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? It's going to be six, choose one. That will be six, six of them, right? So it's going to be A1. By the way, this is already a relation. This is a relation of cardinality one. Remember, the very definition of a relation is a set of pairs. And in this case, the number of pairs in the set is just one. That's okay, it's still a valid relation, okay? And then we got the second one, A2. The syntax over here, I try to be 100% precise. So that uh, I expect the same uh, on you as well. Otherwise, it wouldn't make sense. Okay. And then over here, there should be A3. And then we got B1. And the next relation, B2. And the next relation, B3, okay? Let me move this guy here a little bit over here. Awesome. B3, right? So this entire row over here is about the relation of cardinality one, right? So let's now try to uh, annotate it. So this is one relation over here. Second relation, third, fourth, fifth, and also six, okay? You might be wondering, what about the next row? I'll do just a partially for the next row to you, and then off you go. You should really try to do the rest. What about the next one? The next one, first of all, we can predict that it's going to be relations of cardinality two. How many of them are, uh, how many of them sh uh, should there be, okay? And for this one over here, let me now put it here. Relations of cardinality two over here. Basically, we are trying to find out all the subsets of this particular set of uh, cardinality two. That's what. So that means we can we can choose out of the six different pairs over here. We can choose two of them. 
I can choose this, these two, I can choose these two, I can choose these two, and etc. How many possibilities are there? Well, let's be mathematical. So out of the six different pairs over here, I want to choose two of them, right? And how many are there, right? So that's why I want you to maybe look up uh, back to your maybe math 2030 to see how you can uh, do the choose uh, comp uh, computation, right? So this is how I calculate it. So here you got six choose two, right? So it's gonna be a fraction over here. The bottom part is gonna be uh, whatever this is, the bo uh, bottom number is, is going to be uh, two factorial over here. And then since it is two, so I'm gonna start with the highest number of six over here, multiply by five. So two tells you that you should really do two numbers over here at the top and then two factorial. That's actually the easiest way for me to calculate that because I remember the formula. But for you, you should really uh, look up maybe uh, in, uh, in your earlier textbook to see how to calculate the choose. If you got trouble, let me know, okay? What should this be? Six times five, 30 divided by two, that'll be 15. That means we got 15 possible subsets of the maximum relation over here, right? Let me give you a, uh, a few. So one of them could be, let's say over here, a relation, let's say we choose the first, first two, A1, A2, A1, A2. Okay, and then let me give you another one, or it could be uh, A2 and A3, right? So you, you may want to work out a systematic way for you to actually uh, to choose uh, any two um, members from this particular set to make the subset. Okay, so let's say A2 and A3 and etc. Okay, how many do we expect to see? We expect to see 15 of them, right? That's what we just calculated. So out of the 15, this will be one example. Uh, let me use maybe yellow. So this will be one example over here. This is just another example. So there's another 13, right? And by following the same idea, you want to figure out exactly the cardinality. So now here, so far we covered cardinality zero, cardinality zero, cardinality one, and also cardinality two, right? So you, uh, also we got cardinal, cardinality six. So what are we missing? You still want to figure out what about cardinality three, four, and also five. That should be another three rows over here. And how many uh, relations should be there in each row? That would be something you can calculate using the, the choose operation over here, right? Hopefully there's enough guidance for you about how to complete this exercise. You'll be very valuable for you to really know exactly how to do this systematically. That will definitely give you insights about not just the relation, but also about power set and also subset, and also about, about being uh, systematic of numerating elements in a set. All right, I'll leave that exercise to you. If you go back to the slides, what I just illustrated is actually also documented on the slides. So you can definitely also go over them if you wish, right? So here, I just tried to tell you that. So, oh, by the way, so this part over here, the six, should be no, not, no surprise to you, the six over here is simply the cardinality of this particular guy. Okay, let me just make a note. The six over here is simply the cardinality of the maximum relation. Cardinality of the maximum relation. And then we simply want to choose two of them to make another relation, right? That's what we are doing here. Okay. All right, so you can also look at this written uh, form of the hints, which is consistent with what I just visualized to you, and you can off you go and do the work. All right, so that's about uh, the exercise I want you to uh, do for the relations, and then let's now move on. And uh, starting from the next slide, so now we got a, a, a series of uh, operations on relation that we want to define and also exercise.